I am using FreeCAD version 0.20 revision number 29177. First of all, go to the Sketcher workbench. Uh, create a sketch in the XY plane. So I want to create a four bar linkage so use the polyline first point starting from the origin so this is the, the one link this is the second link and this is the third link and the fourth link will be this side along the x-axis So it's this I'm going to make it the crank, I'll make it hundred mm. Then this length I'll make it two hundred mm. This also hundred mm. Now I have to fix this distance. So the distance between these two points so that will be act as the fourth link I make it also 200 mm so there is an additional constraint so this need not be parallel so I'll delete this constraint okay and then now this is mechanism working fine so I need to fix this angle between this crank and this fixed linkage so I constrain angle between this side and the x-axis we name it angle theta okay so now it is fully constrained close it I see the top view because it is in the xy plane now to animate this mechanism so you have to install this animator macro so after installation you get this animator button here so now I call this animator and now I have to modify its properties so select property so I have named this angle between this crank and this fixed link as theta so I choose that sketch constraints dot theta and then if I double click this animator button it rotates so from starting value is value which will start is 0 to final value is frames is 100 so to get a full rotation I will change this to 360 so now we are able to get 
a full rotation. So now I can change the length to see what happens to the mechanism. So if I go back to sketch and this length I change to 90. Okay. So now close, go to animator. So the mechanism works well. So we have this crank which rotates and this link rocks. But suppose I increase this length and then try to animate. You can see this message here, recompute failed. And it is not able to rotate completely because it does not conform to this mechanism does not conform to Gershaw's law. 